have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome into another lockdown. Who knows how many more times this is gonna happen to all of us, but I think one thing that has come out of this is, I suppose a little bit of a silver lining in terms of me using some of my time productively and also using some of my time for real self-care activities that are just enhancing my life. And there are definitely going to be some routines that I will carry forwards regardless of the circumstances, just so that whenever I'm really needing a little bit of downtime, I actually have some activities to do that can kind of reduce my anxiety, put me back in a good headspace and just help me feel on top of things so that that overwhelming feeling isn't becoming too much. So I thought I might just show you guys through a little bit of a day in the life or days in the life in a way. I've just kind of been taking clips anytime something slightly interesting happens so I can show you a few things that I'm doing while we're in lockdown to spend my time. And hopefully this gives you some ideas to break the boredom. And like I said, also just get you back into a really good headspace. So just a super quick reminder, if you are new here, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I put up new videos every single week. Like many of you, I am missing going and getting my nails done. I love getting a manicure and pedicure at a local salon. And that is something I have really, really missed during lockdown. So instead I thought I might just do it myself. And I do have some of these nails from Kmart that I bought. They were in one of my previous hauls and they actually work really well for stick on nails. So you can just pop them on and you know, I like to cut them down to size and then file them away to kind of make them into a shape that really suits my hands. But they were only about four to five dollars a pair and they come with the glue inside the pack already. So you don't kind of have to do anything extra. And I just really liked it because it gave me an activity to sit down for half an hour and trim and file all my nails up and pick some colors and things that I like. So I got a few different designs just to mix it up. And these will last for about a week, I would say, and very minimal damage, if any, to your nails underneath as well which is always a plus. Something else I really enjoy to take up a little bit of time is doing some baking because I feel like it's kind of a form of meditation. Do you know what I mean? Like you start baking and like pulling out all the ingredients and it's so like mind boggling and time consuming trying to like get it right when you're doing a new recipe that I feel like the rest of the world just kind of melts away and you really end up focusing on that task. So I did end up making some brownies and I'll insert the clips of me doing that now because I used the no shoe brownies and this is a sugar free pre-mix thing that you can just pick up at Woolworths for a couple of dollars and they were absolutely delicious. I would definitely recommend putting in some little things into it next time, like maybe some chalk chips or little bits of biscuit or something like that, but it was really, really good. <laughs>
Now, if you're more interested in eating the baked goods instead of baking them, I do have another answer for you. So one of my friends started a little side hustle and she makes this beautiful banana and walnut bread. So I thought I would buy a little loaf of that and she was able to drop it off as a little delivery service for me the other night. So this is her brand. It's called Holistic Hedonist and it is a banana walnut bread, which is low FODMAP, gluten-free, plant-based and no refined sugar. It's just popped open. So I may as well open it up and show you but I think it's a really nice idea to buy from your friends when they have a small business because it's really good to try and support people when they're going out on their own and doing a little bit of a venture because you know some of your first customers or referrals can really come from your own network and your own friends and things like that so I am all for people going after their dreams and getting a little bit of a second income and things going as well so I'm really really excited to try this I did get it two days ago and I've waited because I want wanted Jazz to try it with me and he loves banana bread so I thought I better not get into it before he's here otherwise he'll be cranky with me but this is how it comes all vacuum sealed up and then I've been keeping mine in the fridge and I'm just going to slice it off and toast it up with a little bit of butter on top so I'm really really excited to have a piece of that as well. So it's a little bit later now and I thought I would come and sit over on my couch so I can have a little bit of a sit down chat with you guys but Basically something else that I really am enjoying getting back into and it's definitely something that I used to do a lot when I was younger and that is journaling and I know it's a really hot topic at the moment because there's so so many journals and formats and things out there and a lot of people are getting back into it because of the benefits in terms of mindset and personal development and things like that so I'm going to show you the ones that I use but I got the popular choice and I just got this off Amazon so you could easily find it for yourself. I'll I'll link it down below but it's called the five minute journal and it's this beautiful little linen covered book and it's got a whole bunch of sections in the beginning where they kind of explain the whole process and a few different things about you know tapping into your subconscious and how to have a better day so each section of it there is a little bit in the beginning about like your identity statement and things like that but typically each section looks like this so the white section here is for the daytime and the gray here is for the evening. And you literally just need five minutes per session, um, maybe a little bit longer or shorter, depending on how quick you write your things down. But it has some questions like, I am grateful for what would make today great daily affirmations. And then the evening section is amazing things that happened today. And how could I have made today even better? So I might go ahead and fill out today's day section with you guys. And then I can show you the other form of journaling I do as well. So now that I'm done with that section um, and the last little bit I wrote actually I might share with you even though I feel like sometimes it's a little bit embarrassing to kind of read from your journal but my section the last section said what is your daily affirmation and for me I had an overarching theme word if you will for 2021 and that was growth and I did write that down on a vision board um, at the start of the year as well and that is pinned up somewhere behind my computer and the idea of that is growth in all areas of my life, whether it be, you know, taking care of my body and eating healthier and exercising more or about my mental growth and self-development and things as well. And then I guess from that, you need to then attach a feeling to it. Like, what do you want that for? And then the final part of it for me is what actions can I take to make that happen? So something that actually goes along with the word make it happen is this book that I picked up at Dimmicks the other week. So it's literally called Make it happen and it is kind of not really the usual book that I would go for but I thought I will get out of my comfort zone and read something that I might have thought was a little bit too woo-woo for me but it's all about manifesting the life of your dreams and it says it's a witty practical and laugh out loud book so I have been working through this and there is a bunch of exercises so I have read this much so far I'm about a third of the way through which I'm pretty proud of because I haven't really read 
many books in a while. I did have a couple on Kindle that I was really churning through over summer because I feel like when you're outside sitting in a park or something, you can just tap through the pages and read all day for hours. But when it's winter and things get a little bit busy at work, I think that is one of the things that kind of falls off my radar. But something that I did from that is I've got this little black moleskin journal and I used that to start some of the exercises. So this is just like my general um, journal that I write all sorts of stuff in, whether it has to do with my YouTube channel or my actual job or just some things that are, you know, goals and things of mine. Like this one was the envelope challenge savings thing that I'm doing and yeah, there's a couple of other pages in here, but these are my notes from the Make It Happen book. So I wrote down my intentions, my feelings towards them. And then if I flip the page, I've got the actions I would need to take. And the next exercise I did was where am I wasting my energy? Like example, things like overthinking and stuff. And I have to be honest, some of these things, when you write them down, they feel a little bit challenging at first, but I really, really enjoyed this. And I'm going to continue on with that book and journaling and just keeping up with all of the exercises and things. So where I read up to last night, there was just another exercise to do again. So I think I will do that portion of journaling today as well. guys are regulars here might have seen my last Kmart DIY video where I did this little ottoman hack that's next to me so this has kind of become a really nice little creative thinking nook in my house and I do have a bunch of poetry books and things stacked over here as well that I sometimes like to just come and read a few verses from but the idea of what I'm over here for today is actually I have been thinking about getting some more tattoos. So you probably don't even know that I have any because the ones I have are so small. So I only currently have two and this one is just a bunch of little dots that's like on the side of my wrist and I really, really like this and that has its own kind of unique meaning to me. And the other one that I have is, well, it's a little bit hard to show you, but it's this little broken circle here on my arm. So I've been wanting to even it up and get two more on this arm as well, but I really, really like small minimalistic kind of design things. And they also kind of need to have a little bit of a personal story or meaning to me. So actually while we have been in this lockdown, it kind of came to me that I had some other ideas. So I'm just going to sketch those out and then I'll approach a couple of local tattoo artists and I'll see if I can get a booking in some point in the future when they're back open. A great place for finding inspiration I find is always Pinterest. So if any of you guys want the link to my Pinterest, I can leave that link down below. But these are some of the boards that I've got in my section. So I just have all sorts of things about like fashion, home, travel. I don't know why that isn't scrolling. There we go. Fashion, home, travel, like lifestyle sort of stuff, my vision board things. And anytime I want to redo an area of my house, I sometimes go and get a little bit of inspiration. I've also got like healthy food and stuff on there as well. So if you're interested in any of those sections, you can jump on. But I also am going to make a new one for the tattoos and just kind of keep any ideas in there that I really like in terms of like graphically how something might look and also just the sizing and placement as well. Now I've kind of got a couple of ideas in my head for the font that I want to use because one of them, I said I would never get words, but one is a word thing. So I will show you guys in another video once I've got them done. I might like bring you along or something as I'm doing them because tiny tattoos literally don't hurt at all. Like these were literally over and done within no time and it just kind of feels like a slightly uncomfortable scratch and that's about it. So I am not in any way worried about that. It's more just getting the placement right and then really getting exactly what I want right because obviously they are pretty permanent unless you're going to go and have them removed so I want to make sure I have someone that I can trust who's really going to do it right the first time. Just as I was filming that my doorbell rang and I just got two packages so maybe we can open these together and I'll see what it is. <laughs> 
The first one is a beautiful gift from one of my girlfriends. She lives up on the Gold Coast and it is from her Arbonne thing and it's such a lovely little handwritten note but it's this amazing de-stress powder. So what is this? Inner Calm Adaptogenic De-Stress Powder Peach Green Tea Flavor with Ashwagandha and Saffron. Ashwagandha is the most insane ingredient. I never knew about this until I had the Naked Harvest um, moon milk for like the hot chocolates and things before you go to bed but it is literally so incredible at relaxing you so i'm really looking forward to this 30 servings each so i think i'll probably just be having this every single day while we're still in this lockdown so thank you so much babe i really appreciate it the next one is a little bit of a i don't know what this is actually sometimes people just send me things that i have absolutely no clue what it is that i'm supposed to be expecting but we can open that one up together I love that I'm just using my keys for this. Does anyone else do that? Like, I know I have a proper mail opener or a pair of scissors somewhere, but I'm just kind of, like, too excited to rip into the package and see what it is. Ooh. Okay. This is a very welcome gift. It's from Duval. It's a little skin spinner, little face spa kind of set. So there is the skin brush and then a bunch of different heads and things that go with it. It's called their spin care system and it's water resistant. So that looks amazing. I don't know what the huge one is for though. Is that like a body buffer or something? It says facial exfoliation brush, large body cleansing brush, facial cleansing brush and a pumice stone. That's super handy. Thank you guys so much. Um, I wonder if the big one would be good for like, do you, does anyone else do dry brushing? Because I feel like I brought a brush for that and I never ever do it, but I would really like to get back into that on the side of my thighs kind of, cause that's like a little bit of a problem area for me. So maybe I will start using this since it's the a lazy person's way. I've just got to hold it and it'll do the spinning for me and I can report back on any results. It's currently raining outside, which I feel like it has been pretty much all week. So maybe Mother Nature knows that it's locked down as well. But it is a little bit annoying because it sort of makes it hard to find time to go outside for a walk because I don't want to walk in the rain. So especially not in the middle of winter when it's absolutely freezing. But I thought I might just find another activity to fill in some time and hopefully the rain will just kind of pass and we can pop out for a walk later. But Something that I really, really like to do for when I'm feeling super, super anxious is coloring. So I do have these pencils. I think I just got this off Amazon in like the very, very first lockdown. So I've got a set of like 24 colored pencils and being the architect nerd that I am, my coloring book is obviously about buildings. So this is the one that I got, but you can definitely get more fun and pretty kind of girly ones if you'd rather color in flowers and animals and things like that. But for me, I love coloring in buildings. So you can see I've already done a few of them and had a little bit of fun with the colors. So I think my boss would have a heart attack if I said that these are the colors that I wanted to put on a building. But I think it's really, really fun. There's like the London Bridge one and stuff as well. So yeah, I've just really, really enjoyed this because it is something that takes quite a while and it can really take your mind off your surroundings. So this is one that I've sort of half finished. So I think I might invest a little bit more time and effort into that one and finish that off now because like I said, it's just one of those things that I think it's like a little bit of an ASMR moment, like the pencil on the paper and just listening to a podcast as well while I'm doing it or binge watching some YouTube videos and stuff, I find really, really helps. And I'm sorry if you can hear how heavy that rain is. It's actually quite intense, but that's something that I really like doing as well. So I've got a couple of favorite podcasts that I pop on. And if you have any podcast recommendations, please, please let me know. I'm always open to them. And yeah, I usually just chuck that on or I've also got this list in uh, Spotify and this is like one of my favorite ones. It's called Lo-Fi Beats and this is really, really great because it's just kind of like super chilled out lounge music, sort of makes you feel like you're in an expensive hotel lobby or something. So I might chuck that on while I'm doing some of my drawing. And like I said, if I get bored or I need a little bit of another layer of things, then I can just chuck on a podcast and feel like I've got some actual company because I do live alone. So it's sort of nice to have some voices talking to me so that I can just like mentally reply to a conversation as crazy as that sounds. So 
that's what I'm going to be doing and I am doing it in my Uri, in the comfort of my Uri on my bed because that is literally the comfiest place in my entire home where I like to sit. So I have the pink Uri and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is so snuggly and warm and it's honestly just one of the best things ever. It's also got like a big front pocket if you just want to really tuck your hands in. So I do have a discount code for Uri because I am working with them on this portion of the video. So if you would like to grab yourself one, you can head to the description box down below and I'll also just pop it over here on screen for you guys. I honestly cannot recommend them enough. It's literally like just wearing a giant cuddly blanket. So if you don't have one, get onto it because it is literally the middle of winter and and there is nothing better than snuggling into one of these. Kind of starting to wind down for the day and I wanted to share something with you guys that I popped in my most recent favorite video but I still haven't had a chance to use because I feel like I really get on about my Thursday night self-care things but actually the last three weeks my work has been so busy that I was actually working till 8 30 9 o'clock some nights on our deadline so I literally had absolutely no time to myself because by the time I was done with that would cook dinner and have a shower I was pretty much ready to fall into bed. So I am going to show you through a little bit of my skincare routine and how I would do some self-care and things for myself this evening. And one part of that is the collection from Tommy Skin. So like I said, I have shown you guys this previously, but I am ashamed to say that I never got a chance to use it because life literally got so busy that I didn't even have a little bit of time to dedicate to myself. And that is a little bit sad. So here is their clay mask. So this is Tommy Skin and it's a green clay mask, which is really interesting. So I definitely have used clay masks before and I think the benefits of them are absolutely incredible. I would definitely say a lot of the irritation and things that I had on my forehead earlier this year and a lot of the irritation I get here from wearing the face mask has definitely been cleared up by clay masks. So previously I was just using one from another brand, but now I'm going to swap to this and... This one looks really, really interesting. So you just leave it on for 10 minutes or until completely dry and then you can just remove it with a towel. So that's kind of what it looks like on the inside. And they have been lovely enough to also send me the brush to apply it with, which I think is really nice because they don't often come with a brush as well. So that's all part of the set. So I will leave the links down to that below, but I'm definitely going to pop that on so you can see me looking kind of weird with my little green face mask on pretty shortly. And something else they sent are these pimple patches. So I know a couple of brands out there are doing these at the moment and I had personally never tried them before. So I was really, really excited. And these ones are super cute. They're just little stick on butterflies that you kind of just pop onto your face. And yet again, in their signature green color. And I actually already used one of these and I'm going to use it again because you can't see, thank God for makeup, but I have a spot that's popped up on my chin and I really want to prevent that from spreading because I would love to say that I don't pick at my pimples but I definitely do <laughs> and it will always result in a little bit of scarring and it takes a while to fade off so I'm going to put that on there to prevent me from touching it and essentially the whole purpose is that they just speed up the healing so you can put that on overnight and wake up in the morning take it off and it just provides a little bit more of a barrier to your skin and really helps it start that rejuvenation process and the last thing they sent me is this beautiful thing called glow drops face oil which is a vitamin C oil. And I think that is really, really gorgeous as well. So it just says to do three to four drops of oil onto the hands and gently massage into the skin and let it soak in. So you will always hear me banging on about vitamin C because I definitely give it credit for the glow that my skin has. And it's all got to do with really good quality vitamin C. So 
that will be getting popped straight into my beauty cupboard and like I said I turn through vitamin C like no other skincare product so I definitely recommend getting one if you don't have one in your kind of skincare collection at the moment but let's go on and I will pop on this clay mask and we can get into a little bit of a day spa sort of evening and wind down together <music> that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope this has been at the very least a little bit of a distraction from everything that's going on but i also hope that it's helped to give you a couple of ideas for how to keep busy and really look after your mind and body in the best way possible during everything that is going on so if you have any other ideas for the things you've been keeping busy with please leave them down below i always love to chat with you guys and hear about what you're getting up to during your week as well but until the next video i will see you next time. Bye!